Okay, hi. Uh, hi, everyone. I am Nazanin. Uh, I'm glad to be a part of this great webinar today. And thank you, Prof. Bala, for giving me the opportunity to be the moderator for your session as well. I'm really grateful for that. Okay, so I would like to start with a brief uh, introduction of Pro uh, Professor Dr. Bala Krishnan. So Professor Dr. Bala Krishnan has done his uh, PhD in Wollongong, Australia, Master in the field of IR and HR in Sterling, UK, and Bachelor in Social Science in USM, Malaysia. Professor Dr. Bala has 26 years of working experience in university, basically 17 years since 1996 till 2012 in UMS. And also he has continued uh, teaching in UMK, University of Malaysia, Kelantan for nine years and also invited as a professor since 2013. Uh, Prof. Bala is the founding president of Malaysia Industrial Relation and Human Resource Association or the short form is MIRHA since 2020. Uh, Prof. Bala is also the advisor of Bursa Young Investor Club, UMK or University of Malaysia, Kelantan since 2021. Uh, Prof. Bala is the patron of the Lavender Literary Club India as well. Uh, besides all this, uh, Professor Dr. Bala Krishnan is also the adjunct professor of University of Cyberjaya Malaysia, University of Science and Technology, as well as Master University located in Malaysia as well. Uh, Prof. Bala is also the Senior Research Fellow, National Human Resource uh, Center or NHRC, HRD Corp, Ministry of HR Malaysia as well. Uh, Prof. Bala has uh, published around 18 books till today and uh, also more than 200 articles as well. Uh, lastly, I would like to specify that Prof. Bala has also invited as a panel expert of TV and radio talk show on entrepreneurship, business and in the field of IR and HR. Hi, Prof. Good evening. Uh, we are so glad to have you here. Oh, yeah. Naza. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Fine, fine. Uh, okay, so uh, Prof, as the topic for today is about publishing books and um, and basically publishing books, so I would like to share a sl one slide with uh, everyone, and then I'll be starting to ask my questions from your Prof. Is that fine? Uh, okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, Prof, can you see my screen? Yeah, yeah, can, can, can. Okay, so uh, here is basically what I just uh, mentioned about Professor Dr. Bala Krishnan Parasuraman. Uh, okay, so as the topic for today's webinar is basically publishing books in high impact journals, I would like to ask uh, Prof Bala that how many types of book academicians should write since you are a lecturer since 1966 prof and you have published uh, many books as it is shown on the screen right now a few of them so can you please tell us your experience and how the journey was and uh, in your opinion how many types of book academicians should write okay uh first of all uh thank you uh Afia, who became the person for today and also thanks to Nazwa uh, to be a moderator for this evening uh, and also thanks to Dr. Frank and Dr. Virgin uh, who is a co-organizer uh, for this uh, uh, international virtual uh, workshop and really thanks to all the participants here who attended for tonight's session uh, okay um, Nazwa uh, thank you very much uh, such a wonderful uh, question uh, not easy to answer your question within a few minutes, but I'm trying my best. Eh? Yeah, sure. uh, as you know that uh, I started working at the university lecturer in 1996. Eh? That was yeah. my first appointment as a tutor. And of course, uh, from that on that on day onwards, I don't get my master's and also my PhD. I just joined as a young lecturer, but also I'm really, really senior position at that time as a early teacher and then i joined uh, as academic then at that time i don't have any mentors to guide me like what i'm guiding all of you now today eh? uh, i'm alone uh, low rangers and uh, i have uh, not many senior scholars to guide me and i have to do my own myself and first of all i understand the nature of the academic uh, understand the nature of the job academic job 
So one of the core uh, business in which I gone through the process actually publication. Uh, thank God at that time I have my some circular, my some my friends. Um, they are younger than me. I think younger than five years younger than me. And I uh, lower down myself and I try to be friend with them because. Uh, and one of my friends is uh, now, I think he's a dean now in U University of Malaysia Sabah. I started my career in UMS, which is uh, located in Borneo, uh, Borneo Island, close to Brunei. All right? I served there for almost 17 years. Eh? So my friend, they're, they're very young. And I like to load on myself and learn from him. And he's the one told me, why not, Bala, we start writing now. So at, in the beginning, I start writing only in newspaper. And I think I few our friends uh, at time uh, laugh at us. Hey, why are you writing a uh, newspaper? You know, uh, but my dean that day very very good. And my dean is actually Professor Ahmad. He's a historian, well known historian in Malaysia. Uh, he's, he's in the Spanish uh, history, and he told me, "No, don't worry, just keep on writing." And I started with that kind of newspaper, not popular newspaper, uh, become a columnist. And later on, my friend said, "Why not? Why not you we got upgrade?" And I always follow him. He's very active on writing. And I say, hey, you can do, I also can do. And he said, why not we go to the magazine? At that time, we jumped to the magazine. And uh, it, this all happened after I come back my master's, after my uh, first uh, you know, degree, and, and I come back from United Kingdom with my master's, I know, PhD at that time. So then he said, why not we go to magazine? And that magazine was also quite uh, popular at that, at that moment uh, because it was published by a uh, national publisher, Taiwan Basa and Pustaka. Um, uh, under that company and also Karang Craft, uh, quite well well established uh, magazine, and it's called uh, uh, Day One uh, Economy Economy Magazine. So I also become colonist. I write every month. I will write an article, and that's how I improve. And then one day I gather all my friends. You know, uh, they all different field, multiple discipline. Hey, why don't we we write the books together? And at the time. Uh, of course, we are publishing articles also, uh, you know, because one of the pre requests to be lecturer confirmed, we need to publish in journal. Right? At that time, we have don't have Scopus ISI, okay? But uh, I mean, most journal is a uh, top journal uh, at the time. So we are just publishing index journal. So apart from that, I said, why not we get it to, to, to write the books? And you can see some books uh, appeared here, some books don't appear there. Huh? Uh, so you can see, uh, then I, and I learned from him. and. He said, why not we edited book? I know edited, actually co-writers, co, uh, uh, all of us. And I brought uh, from my friend sociology. He's actually older than me, seven years old. But he was so low down himself. And Dr. Asmadi, myself. So we're all sitting and together we come one this book. They call globalization. Last time we called no 4.0 IR, right? Globalization from the social science perspective. Because we are from the school of social science. And the first book, when you know, we have the hard work because uh, this is a top publisher in Malaysia. As I told you, Devon Basar Pustaka is a national publisher. So you publish with them, it's a really make your big name there, you know. Or oh, then at the time, I feel like, wow, well, the first book, you know, at the time we don't have PhD, all of us were just like masters. But when first book come out, uh, the print, first print come out, wow, we're all so happy, you know, like joyful. How can we can make it? And and that's how the collaboration is very important. Uh, we are different field. One is uh, from international relation, the other one from the sociology, the other one from the economy, and I from the industrial relation. So at the beginning, we are work as a team because we have no 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 mentors at the time. So then the book out, and the book was so popular because we got around one thousand students, uh, you know, bought the book, and that kind of collaboration, uh, and it's a big, big impact. So we're making a name at the time, you know, slowly we make a name. Uh, although we are in Sabah, two hours, two and forty minutes flight away eh, from Sabah to Kuala Lumpur, but we make a name there. So then after that, I told myself, hey, I already come back with my master thesis. So my friend Dr. Asmadi, yeah, now he's, he's a professor, uh, he's so humble, you know, and he said, why not, Bala, come, we let's we publish our, our. You can see two books in on on the on the my desk, huh? uh, But unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, after five years, I was asked to go for PhD. So I have no choice because my VC said you have to go PhD because we need a lot of PhD older to develop the program. And thank God I was offered a place in the United Kingdom and also in Australia. I choose Australia because my supervisor come from Australia. I didn't choose university actually. I can go actually I can go to Oxford or Harvard uh, in in US because we got scholarship. In fact, I can go to Cambridge or LSC, yeah, London School of Economics. But I choose go to Wollongong because my supervisor was there 
and I follow supervisor. I didn't follow the university because anyway, I follow my supervisor. And then on that particular time, I said, oh, okay, this is a good time for me to write because another you cannot do PhD every, you know, all the time. So I go like eight to five, I study PhD. I went to library, I collect the all the books, everything. I start writing with, but after that, I feel bored, you know, I don't know what to do. Then I start uh, writing these two books, so I can see in front of me. And the two books actually top publisher. One is a peasant education, all of you know. And a peasant education is the top publisher in the world, around the world. The other one is a Devan Basa Pustaka, top in it. So I, I take it as a sweet time. I'm going to pleasure myself, you know. I will, I'm enjoying writing. And these two books actually a uh, first fine book. And I was during my doctorate, always I tell the guy and other young fellows, don't say no time, you got time. And that time, oh, I, I got a lot of motive. Of course, I did a thankful to Pizan ed uh, Education Editor, Ms. Asri Asana. Still, uh, I always say you are my brother, big brother. You you the one actually promote, uh, encourage me. And that time, Wollongong University was so happy. Touch, hey, how can you do this? You are just a PhD student. And I said, no, I'm just a student, but I'm a lecturer. And I was uh, asked to write. And then, wow, one of them is so happy. When the book come out, you know, the one the, with the Malaysian flag, uh, Nazai and all the uh, distinct participants here, one of them was so happy. And they give me about, they didn't give me uh, cash, but they give me 10,000 uh, Australian dollars for because it's a research book. And I put their name also there, you know, because they thought, uh, and then the money transferred into the, uh, you know, my research uh, student account. They didn't pay. And they sponsored me free ticket, everything, everything, hotel, I paid. They said this is a reward. We are not lecturer. We cannot pay the cash, but we can give you some kind of free conference. You go to Adelaide uh, with everything paid, no even single cent. That's how I met Dr. Ariana, which is my co-author later on. Huh? So uh, that's how I I was, uh, you know, very really impressed. And Peasant Education Sydney, yeah, Australia came and launched the book. And my boys are very supportive. He like uh, he like a publication. He published about more than two hundred. I think before he passed away. All ISI and top journal scopus. I mean, I cannot uh, with with him. The tough, uh, very tough. So that's how uh, the book come out, launch in Australia, and then I bring the good name to the Australian university. So now that you know that at that time, the dean called me and said, "Can you stay back in Australia?" At that time, I was so young, uh, very very young age, and he said, "Can you stay back to Australia and you continue with the job? We give you a high position. You can pay back your contract." Okay. Then I told them, no, I have to go back to my country because I need to develop. I, I can see now, Nazar, I'm every every day, every every uh, day and time, I have to ask to give opinion at the media and so on because I need to develop my country. I need to love to develop many, many managers, many scholars, many academicians, and also industry players. And today, I'm very proud to see all my students are in the top position now at this moment after 26 years. Huh? So that's why I told the dean, no, uh, for the sake of, yes, I can stay here. I can better life. My, my kids get a PR, everything. Yes, of course. But I cannot forget my country. They, they sent me here to back. And I can see that when I come back, I got it, everything, uh, my promotion. So the promotion that actually come from the publication. So the book actually giving me to publish other journals. So journal ongoing, all right? But book actually make my name popular, not only in Malaysia, actually, in many countries around the world and people recognize me and book of books you know very high impact huh, Nazar? the book they put in everywhere in on the library on the on australian library and worldwide the moment people start uh, looking for for you they'll come out. and there's a malay book actually uh, there's a no more relief no more out of uh, no publication anymore all sold out and these two books sold out no more no more any printing at the moment i don't know whether i can start in any one but the most important that I not boast myself here. I started with a very, very um, no mentor, but I learned from the young people. In fact, Nazar, I also learned, learned from you. And I know you are so young, like me, uh, you are my student, but I learned from you. You also sometimes teach me what to do pro next, what is right. So I learned a lot of things. I didn't put myself, hey, I'm a professor. No, I never put that head. I actually I learned a lot of things from, from yourself. And the one thing, good thing that you have this writing momentum which I think I went through the same process. So writing is become my part of my life. I cannot, I addicted, you know, another addicted. You're not addicted to a drug, eh? Drug is what uh, can make you, <laughs> I addicted. I have to write. That's why you can see every day I need to write something, write something. So I'm already addicted. Without writing, I cannot sleep. I cannot. That's, why, that's how you see, I can only publish more than, uh, you know, uh, 20 books and upcoming, many books upcoming uh, now. 
uh, not because I write book, but book actually can stay with you. A lot of students will refer back to book. Article, yes, keep on going. I'm also publishing ISI Scopus Journal. So this year, I got three Scopus uh, already on, on the track. And I already got a few grants, Nada, you know that. I already got a three, four grant, uh, national grant, industry grant. I'm working on that. And all these topics actually can go to ISI Pop Journal. So my even my dream to go to the number one journal in the world, I already went. There's a dream for me. Even though you publish 20 articles, as a one article go that journal, you go and check Journal of Industrial Relations. Just type it and see. They are, they are, they are, they are worldwide. They are, if you put that there, everybody will refer the, the, the article around the world. I mean, Cambridge, Oxford, because my field is actually, you know that, my field actually started from all the top universities. Oxford, MIT, Cambridge, Cornell, and all these things. So they will refer. So that's my dream already achieved. And that's a passion, la, passion. Actually, uh, I cannot, I already professor for 10 years already. I don't need to work. I just can, you know, do all the, but passion. Passion is the writing is a, uh, I'll write until the end of my career. I keep on writing. Uh, so that's why I think um, uh, I'm a little bit, uh, a bit emotional, but not emotional, but happiness to look back. What the, so along the way, a lot of my friends, I cannot forget, including my own student, also helped me throughout my career. So whether they're young or old, I don't care. I just respect everybody. And I really uh, respect uh, those uh, people who are helping behind me. Of course, my family, my own family, my wife, my children, everybody, my brothers, sisters, my friends, my supervisors, everybody I cannot forget my life. So today, I many people say, why Papala always came on TV? It's not. It's actually 26 hard work that I put. In the beginning, nobody knows about me. Who am I? Nothing. But I keep on uh, working for the for the country and uh, another to inform you my books actually transform into many policy in the country today you know that minimum wage already in the process we are doing another research i'm sitting many national policy at this moment and the latest one actually we are transforming sme through the uh, hrd corp hrd corps under ministry of human resources and few days uh, as i follow my my talk prime minister start giving a lot of input is it true eh? i'm not i'm not telling lies actually whatever i said prime minister already asked to do minister to react as soon as possible to, to save a country like gig economy uh, like minimum wage and foreign workers in indonesia and so on so i'm i'm actually not come a tv uh, no i'm not i'm not artist i'm not nothing i'm nothing i'm just ordinary person but my talk actually uh, my idea actually get taken by the by the by the industry and also so that's the reason the books are very very important as well to make yourself specialized on that okay thank you as well Ma'am, please unmute your audio, ma'am. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, so uh, thank you so much, Prof, for uh, sharing. It was such a great story. And as we understood, publishing book is a really important, not for our, of course, for our academic life and also for the future career as well, for our career development. Uh, so, Prof, uh, my next question is that, in your opinion, Prof, uh, is book considered as one of the KPI for the promotion and career development? Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you very much for the question. Yes, true, 100% true. Each of the lecturers in this room, eh, I really encourage everybody must have one book in their own career, especially the academician. I am very much, much encourage you to have at least one book on your field and uh, because when you be promoted you will be they will be asking uh, do you have any book uh, published in your own career throughout your career at least one book you need to publish for your own career and you can start publication from your phd or maybe the next question Nazar will ask about that but never mind uh, so everybody uh, Nazar, in this room who are here today only 48 people i saw 98 people so those not coming today i don't know they may be wasted. Uh, they will, uh, you know, uh, for me, it's uh, actually uh, in Malay, we call the uh, rugi, yeah? rugi banyak. Rugi means uh, you opportunity, you lost, you know, uh, the opportunity only come your life, not every time. And people like me talking at uh, senior scholars is very less uh, talking. Sherry. So yes, true. KPI, one of the KPI, apart from the article you publish, Scopus and Journal. I mean, you have no tolerate, sorry, from year 2019, Nazar, and years to come future, you must go to Scopus and ISR. That is a trend, all right? But apart from that, the 
the people also looking at you, um, uh, you do you have any books or not? And books are very important because your student will, will read, uh, your, uh, your colleagues will read, your friends will read, and you will put the library. Whenever they type your name, your field will come up. Like example, anybody type industrial relation in Malaysia, my name will come up. And I see a lot of citation had been made in thesis. Many, many citations. I check through for thesis, for the book, for anything. They cited my work because uh, they know about my work. So for me, Nazar, it's definitely you have published, either perish. Only two words I've used. Publish or perish if you come academic. If you are in industry, it's okay, fine. But still, you need to publish. That's why I keep on telling the industry people, you need to publish one book from your doctorate, from your PhD. And it happened. I think you know that about that. Huh? I'm also uh, working with you. I, even though you are my doctorate student, but I'm also working with you several projects. Why not we do together? So you have to do. If you cannot do, collaborate with somebody else. Okay? Uh, like example, uh, Nazar, I'm helping a lot of young lecturers. Uh, I don't know whether you realize or not about that, you know, Nazar. Um, Dr. Frank, I talked to him, and they're all thirties. They don't know where to go. They all know my mentors. When I was uh, young, I know mentors. Nobody helped help me. I have to do myself. I rely on the God. Actually, God actually gave me a lot. God Almighty helped me a lot because He got wisdom from the God. Eh, Nazar. It's not from yourself. The wisdom God gives to you, and the wisdom I got it. But then I told Dr. Frank, why not we sit down? We sit down. We, we you you come up with something, and I I bring him. Uh, I think Dr. Frank is here. I know he's in the room. And Dr. Jaya, all the young scholars, and Dr. Ariana, although he's uh, same age with me, but he's still he, he's struggling to get his professorship. And other scholars, I think you know, right? From Cyber Jaya, from uh, you know, from the Lincoln Wing University, uh, many uh, from Indonesia. So I bring uh, even Africa. I I also bring my student from Africa. Everybody put contributing. So now I'm not writing by myself. I'm editing the book. So this giving chance for them. So at least by the end of the next year, they have one book chapter in their hand. They're very proud to bring. And this book is actually uh, on research method. I hope uh, many of, of us in this room uh, can have your book over next year if you are launching the book. But anyway, there's no question of that. But I myself initiative. Uh, sometimes the young lecturer doesn't want to come back to me. Never. The pride always there. Many lecturers today is very proud, very pride. You cannot have a pride. You must humble yourself. That I myself offer myself to do this. You know, I'm asking chapters up and down. Nobody was sending chapters, Naza. Nobody. They think so relaxed, you know. I told them, opportunity come only your life. You take it or not, up to you. But how many people in this in, in today going to help the young lecturers? None of them. Nobody care. Nobody else. So you cannot, even though we are in India, I'm in Malaysia, my friend from Indonesia, from Africa, I brought everybody in the one big family. Yesterday I was telling that. Why? What's the difference? You and me. You got two eyes, I got two eyes. What's the difference? You are male, I'm female. That's, I mean, you, I'm and maybe you're female. That's all. That's the difference. But that cannot be separated. You from Iran, I'm from Malaysia, from India. What is what is the deal? Now, even much better. You can publish, you can send WhatsApp, you can send online, you can faster. So that's a project. Actually, I'm helping the young lecturer, not for my KPI. My KPI, no need. I've already done more than enough KPI. It's more than enough. Actually, I, I'm not working for the KPI. Sorry, Naza. I'm working for my, my self-actualization, like what Maslow said, I'm helping others now. My job is helping, 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 sharing and sharing, never put myself. That's what I'm going to do. That's what God asked me to do. God created me to help others, not for myself. So whatever I, I got it, I shared to people. And this room, I didn't get anything. I'm not coming for the name for that. I'm sharing the knowledge. So that's the time. Take it or not, it's up to you. So I was very proud. Work and I was proud to work in the university in Kelantan as an entrepreneurship university. So the entrepreneurship university changed my mindset, and I really understand. Oh, entrepreneur is opportunity. You take the opportunity. So that's why all people in this room, please be moved. Change for today. No more wait for tomorrow. If I said publish a book for yourself, do it now. If you cannot do it now, when are you going to start? Nobody can help you. You help yourself. All right. But we can give you a lot of like like uh, lavender uh, literature club, Mirha, you know, like uh, camp community. We can help you. We are helping you actually from the uh, two years. We are working voluntarily, Nazar. We are never. You ask Dr. Frank. No, even single cents. All right. If I give a talk to the outside, I can earn a lot of money. Never I do that until moment. Is because I want to help not only Malaysia, abroad. Now I'm going to Indonesia. I'm actually talking to Thailand. Uh, Dr. Nazrul yesterday was in uh, Thailand. Why not bring the Thai people inside? 
India, Sri Lanka, and maybe Iran, and maybe some other countries. Africa, they're lacking of a lot of opportunity in Africa. We have to help. So our our, our people from India, you're all knowledgeable, you're all excellent. Why are you waiting for that? You are super, super country in the world. You're top 10. You, you, you must be first in the first one in, in, in the world now, after China. You, you have brilliant people in the world. Why you cannot take it? Why you cannot move on with your knowledge, with your books, with your publication? You can move on. China doing that now. China sending everybody to study PhD. I got a few students studying under me, any student PhD. So that's how we have to work. So we are small, but we can do big difference. So I think, Nazar, I think that's uh, yes, true, is your KPI. So young people start from now, don't wait tomorrow. Thank you so much, Prof, for the inspiration, inspirational talk. Okay, so Prof, as I stated earlier, you have uh, successfully published uh, around 18 books and over 200 articles till now. Uh, so is it possible if you justify and clarify for us what can be the main differences between the academic book and journal articles? Okay, very simple. All right. Articles... Okay, in our workshop actually writing articles, right? Eh? Okay, articles mean a piece of work. Okay, from your your thesis, eh? example, right? Eh? From your thesis, you can come out at least four papers or five papers. Okay, one paper I give example. Okay, you can take your literature review chapter two. You can argue, debate on the literature review, like like you are doing on the leadership. Am I right? Yes. You can come out with literature review from the critical analysis. You criticize each of the style of the leadership, the merit and demerit. But critic must be based on evidence. You cannot simply critic by yourself. Cannot. You need to refer to a lot. That's why I said when you PhD, explore yourself on the many literature review around the world, and you come out and you justify why you use ethical. All right? You already have this point. I know that. You already show all the big big companies, Giant and Facebook, all right? Uh, FIFA, and all these big companies. There's an ethical issue. Who make the thing leader? And when you have that and you propose, you look for the journal. Okay, the journal that you look for, you study carefully the journal. Formatting very important. The language is very important. The, the methodology very important. What method they are really going to publish, qualitative or quantitative. And you have to study all these. Actually, there's a technique to publish in ISI and Scopus. Format is very important. Don't, don't make a mistake on formatting. Study format, study the content, and then see where this journal. So then you throw your idea. Never mind. First rejection. It's okay. Fine. I was rejected. Nazar, you think I you think I know many rejection. But when you make rejection, they will teach you what to improve your paper. Then you improve, then you send back again to another journal. So look for the journal that the journal will be giving you something like uh, you know, um uh, 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 what do you call the the, the 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 content of the journal must reflecting your um what they call uh, your research on the like example another you got a leadership journal many journals look for the journal and because when you publish that journal a lot of people will study leadership will come back to you and they will cite you so the moment you are accepted very happy okay and that's how you keep on moving in your uh, uh in your research eh? so basically um how we go in on this actually is come out with a piece of paper uh, a piece of article from the chapter one probably you use a, a, a unique method unique method huh? on it okay, another paper can come out and then your early finding by the study another paper can come out or maybe you got three case study you come out one case study another so you you look at it at least seven or eight papers can come out you know in a bit then you compile the whole thing you come up on book that's what i did my book actually come after how many years 2007 i complete my phd my book come out 2014 it's about uh, eight years, you know, seven years, the book come out. But along the way, I PhD, I publish a lot of articles. Okay, I'm not good. I mean, say I'm not good, but I try my best. All right. And then another thing that you have to collaborate with someone from other countries. I publish the one that top journal, huh? journal industrial relation, actually collaboration with uh, another lecturer from Wollongong University. I collaborate with that professor and able to do that. So rejection is a part of life. Don't worry about that. But the most important that you brave enough to go publish. So study the format, study this and publishing. So publication, at least you have two or three journals per year. You have to plan plan for now. You want to publish next January, plan for now. Don't wait next year and plan. 
So you work close with the supervisor. Your supervisor is a very important person. You have to work close with the supervisor and do what he asks you to do. Follow, then everything will be okay. The moment you didn't work with the supervisor, and then things, a lot of things happen. So I believe, uh, Nazar, I think I answered your question. Yes, you can come out a lot of papers. Uh, yeah. Okay, one after Thank one. You so okay. And then sometimes, Nazar, you also like, and my, my friends here on, on the on the, this uh, online room, you also can get a research grant. Then you can also publish. And normally, you know that green job, right? You know, we have a green job and ESD, okay? You, you were involving the research of so my, like my RA. It's a new topic. And this is a one, the journal one. It's a one, the journal one to explore the thing. So you have chances to publish top journal because it's a new issue. You may say, Rob, I don't think so. No, 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 this is the one they want. Actually, you can go to the top journal. Of course, your writing skill or language must be improved, lah, everything. Eh? And then you study the style of that. When you study the style of formatting, you're lucky. Actually, a lot of people publish in journal. Actually, they follow the styles and also format first. And then what is the philosophical science? Social science is another very difficult, especially qualitative, very difficult. But don't worry, still we can go to the top journal. But the reader, you have a good heart to do that, OK? So I believe um, all of my friends in this room, please make sure that you have a, a piece of paper from your doctorate or from your master or from research. Work together with your team, maybe cross country. Normally, like when I work with Dr. Ariana, we are, we are the same field. I met Dr. Ariana in Adelaide, which I think I, I told you just now my book was published and the University of Wollongong paid me yeah, free. Yeah? You know, when I met Dr. Ariana in Indonesia in 2004, five, actually five, we are publishing more than 12 articles. We already win grant international uh, innovation in, from Geneva, Korea, until now. We already published few edited books. You know, Dr. Ariana, right? You met him before, right? Dr. Ariana. So, still we're working. Yes, yes. I'm still working. So, how, how I cross over? I, in fact, every year I go to Indonesia, as you know, because I was invited as a guest professor and their top university. So, make a friends. Friendship is very, very important. All right. For example, uh, in your case, you have to learn from your supervisor. Go with him, okay? Go uh, together and learn from people and understand. If you isolated yourself, no, 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 I just stay there, stay there. Nothing will come back to you, okay? But same time, humble yourself. Humble yourself and learn from people and things, then slowly you go, okay? So I think I already tried to put you in that uh, position, huh? perish or publish, that's all. So you publish book, one book enough, Next, I want I want to all my friends here, 55 friends here. Each of you come and show me your book, and I'm very glad. Send me um, an email, contact Dr. Frank, and of course uh, you all can uh, any. So another can give my uh, also my uh, email to them, huh? uh, so they can communicate yes, with me. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Yes. At the end. And one more thing. Uh, let's one thing. Uh, for my friends in India. Do you know all the top publishers uh, located in Delhi yeah, and also Chennai? I'm not sure. Oxford, Sage, Cambridge, all these publishers, they got office in India. So my friend here, please use your opportunity. Go and contact the top publisher. And that publisher is actually Scopus and ISI book. Like Sage, yeah? they're all the top publisher. Oxford, Cambridge, you know, many, many uh, book publishers top, they are located in India. Right? That's the good thing, another, and the publication will be with less cost. And no, another one book. Let's say you publish top book, you can go all over the India. How many billion? You know how many billion? Uh, India, I say two billion population. <laughs> you imagine how many students studying in the one university? One million. If you got a nice book, very important. You can make millions of dollars, and the money you can use for your generate for your research fund. I'm telling this. This is how you generate income. Your money that you sell the book, use generate income, you help your PhD student. I helping them. When I sold my book, I got a little bit of income, I give back the money to my research student. Uh, at least their food, allowance, whatever, I pay them, everything, because I transfer. And you can do that as well. And then you can you can fly to everywhere in the world. Why are you asking money from your university? No need. You actually bring in the name for the for the for the university throughout this publication. At the same time, you make uh, some royalty and then you just use the money for your subsidy grant. So these are the things outside the box as an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur means don't go and start up a startup company. No, your book itself can be entrepreneur. You know, Nazar, my book all sold out because I have close relationship with my student. 
So my student will take them very proud. They're working with very nice and all sold out. And the money goes to university. And now the university told me, Propala, please give in third edition. We are waiting for that. And I think you also part of the, my team. You know, you also in the team. I really thanks to you also. You also humbly come. Proper, can I provide you? Because you know, I'm your guru. I'm your teacher. You did. You help. So you see, when we help others, it's a part of the team. So I believe that that is how entrepreneur will think. Okay, you generate income for yourself, also for others. You help your student. You know, another when I, when I do this, one of the uh, government agency, national like NHRC, yeah? National Human Center. You know what they say, Prabala? You're writing a lot of article. You spend all money for your student. No worry, Prabala. We got little bit of fun for you. You, whenever article you put our name as a as a main uh, in in your article or in a in a TV show, everything promote ourselves. We will and exactly happen, and that's what I did. Am I right, Nazar? It is so. The money is not from yeah. my pocket; it's from someone helping you. And I don't know about that. They the one told me, okay, can can and then they say, probably bring your your proposal. We can publish also your book. So you can see the people monitoring on you. People see you. People see your heart. When you good heart, everything happen. And today, not from my money. Actually, they gave. I send spend back to my postgraduate student or undergraduate student. Doesn't matter. And you also happy. Everybody happy, right? So why you need to put your 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 side alone, working alone? No, cannot. You can't work alone. Okay. In academy, jealousy is a part of the life. You know, everybody jealous. You know, people don't like you when you perform. Don't care. You keep on perform. They will come back to you one day. Those people jealous on you doesn't matter. It's a sick, you know, cancer. You know, jealousy can create the sickness for you. You look at me. I'm still like very young, kan? Huh? I won't. I won't getting old. I like you also. I'm always saying. Uh, you look at me now. I'll be forever like this. I won't getting old because my heart is very clear. I have no jealousy. I'm praying for other people. I'm helping my student. I won't getting older. I'll be everywhere like this. You know why? That's also healthy life. So, but if you go and jealousy attack people left and right, then academics are supposed to be good hard. Why academics bring all these, you know, bad thing in your life? Why academics are supposed to teach others good value, but academics have so much jealousy on there. Why? No need. You need to be very proud. When my friend success, Nada, I praise him. If he got award, I praise him. Oh, well done, well done. Go, go ahead. When I do that, people will give me. Like today, I got another grant. <coughs> oh, my friend called me for another university. Probably we put a grant. You see, and and you know, people look at your your heart. People looking from outside, inside, and you know, even TV show. I never a single money, Nada. Never any time I'm ready. You know what happened? They sent the car for my house. One day, Nazar, they come to my house, do the recording. You know that? All the cameramen come and they recording. Why? Why they they do like that? Because I never ask money. I never. I owe my own money flying to Kota Baru. To so when you go to people, they will like you. And in the all the TV, the you know, I know that they all become my friends. They are not Indian. They all Malays. You know, all the young young people. Why? Because so my professorship, I didn't apply. My professorship, I didn't apply. Nothing. Everything come. I become senate member. I didn't ask. Everything come back to you. Prime Minister looking at you. You want important person. You come back to you. So why your heart must be very clear. If you have all the bad inside heart, the dirty, the dark one inside, nothing. You be getting older. You getting sick. You cannot survive in this world. And God will bless you. You see, if you write your articles on the, you can type now Nazar my name. You can see page by page come out my video. I will die today Nazar. I be forever until the end of this world. You know why? Anybody type, I'll come on life. This is how God put you in the in the very important person. So humble yourself, work with them, and young 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 student here, or all of them, humble yourself. Why you want to proud? Why are you boasting yourself? No need. Work with them, everybody. Come back, sharing ideas. Don't ask everything. Money, money, money. Nothing. Money will come back to you if you are a good person. Your promotion will come back to you. Your bosses will like you. Like you know, my boss, Nazar. He follow me, my Facebook. Every day he say, "Well done, well done." You know what he said to me, Prabala? I want to come to India. You're doing a lot for India. I want to come. I want to say, can you bring me now? Yes, Prof. You come. You can launch the book in India. He follow me. He said, "You always say do something." So he like me now very much. You know why? He follow social media. So bosses like you very much. But you don't need to go and tell the boss. You don't need to do all the anki panki silly with boss. No, no need. Boss will look at you, and they will they will know how you do that. So every day. We are looking something, but at the same time, family very important. So you balance with your family. So like my children, my 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 son, he's a top student. He went to the engineering. He doing that. So I also taking care. 
so family everything taking care don't only yourself but you also look at the other things huh? so so now that i'm actually actually answering your question i think <laughs> Yes, thank you so much for the very comprehensive and insightful answer, Prof. It was really enjoyable to hear all this from you. Uh, okay, so Prof, as you mentioned, um, that uh, we somehow have to publish in high impact journals such as ISI and Scopus, right? So, from your point of view, Prof, uh, can books actually consider as ISI and Scopus index or no? Oh yes, true, definitely. Uh, they are now coming out uh, very com many conference. Uh, you attach with the top publisher, and the conference can the conference proceeding also can be ISI. Yeah? that's the first thing. Second thing, they also ISI a Scopus book. I, I told you uh, now uh, just a moment uh, ago that uh, Oxford, Sage, all these actually top publisher. All right. So if you publish with them, your circulation worldwide they will sell the book. But the, now now the big big companies looking for the book that commercial value you cannot simply publish a book there's no commercial value all right why why my university press really hunting for me they want the next edition because there's a commercial value the industry using your book and the student using a book and then there are a lot of case study people want to want to study about your book and that's why i come up with a research methodological book which is i think everybody can read everybody worldwide right? people looking for that you see my my new innovation in this book with uh, me with dr frank and other side of the jaya and dr Riana. The book title also uh, multiple this is my multiple di discipline the tears experience and something and the challenges you face during that so we come up with that kind of book so when somebody read they know they understand the process how they gone through and they're, they're everything there there's a blueprint in that book you open up the blueprint huh? you can see oh that book got everything the answer for you and i believe a lot of phd master students looking for something all there already because multiple discipline and uh, lately, I got one uh, case study, ethnographic case study, yeah, where uh, ex minister, that uh, YP yeah, from Sarawak government, yeah, is my student also. He is the first in the world using ethnography to confirm his theory. He developed the theory for the last 40 years by his own. He already developed a theory they call ICG, Integrity Governance, okay, Corporate Governance, ICG. And he already saw the money is come from his model. He developed the model. And it reduces a lot of cost, no corruption, nothing. You make a lot of, uh, I can show you, you got the coaching, uh, Nazar, I can bring you to see the bridge. I can be all this is to initiative, all the hotels, five star hotel, all from him. You know what happened? And he come back to me, Probalang, I want to do PhD. Okay, Dato, you're welcome. Okay, please, or, or, or how uh, are you going to help me? He's actually quantitative people. He already submitted 3,000 questionnaire, unuseful. You know why? His mind is quantitative, but, I uh, know, sorry. He is expert in qualitative, but his mind is qualitative. And that's all I said, you got an answer for that. I don't know that all, I got one answer for you. And you come back to see me, I solve the problem. You use ethnographic case study. So ethnographic case study, we borrow from the anthropological science, uh, anthropological and sociology, uh, where the people sit on the, on the community for long term, and then they come up with a theory and write down. The same thing, today we borrow from the ethnographic, and that was like sit on, on the industry for 40 years and develop the model is the first another first in the world doing that nobody can do like this research. nobody i already went to dubai i'm looking for this book no book published in this if this book published another i'm telling you the whole leader corrupted people will change immediately so because in marriage integrity and corporate governance and there's a money value i'm told that though he's only 71 years old he's already completed all the chapters 71 years old Nazar. and you are the youngest student me 23 24 years old you imagine i work with the, the, the oldest one the youngest one the middle class middle all of them i can manage all of them do you know why i said Dato, Dato, you finish a book you publish the book can be worldwide go in the world because all the leaders if you read the book the whole will become very peaceful nobody will go corrupted nobody so i already said you so any topic i give like you you doing ethical leadership is some connection with that what with the integrity am i right so the foundation ethical you know ethics you're an academic no ethics that's it you're gone because you know you plagiarism you do the copyright then gone so if you're giving a, a topic on the book you must select the best and there's a commercial value they will publish all right 
So go for the university publication. Go on the university publication and try to get their buy-in uh, buy first. And that's why I'm working with my university price. And actually, I close because there's no cost for you. They will they will pay everything for you. Their publication cost from the university. But how they make money? Actually, as I want to share with you, and then my friends here, I have another book my, with my MBA student. Oh, MBA, nothing what MBA. So what MBA? But not by this. Actually, I told uh, uh, Shalini, Shalini, you do MBA. I will work with this company. This company called Kaling Company is a multi multi level company. They have uh, uh, branches around Asia. They got in Bangladesh, they got in India, and they got, you know, how many, uh, the agent, the agent about at least 10,000. Imagine the book we're going to publish because we write about the leadership, huh? uh, entrepreneur leadership among the Indian. Nobody write about Indian in Malaysia, the top entrepreneurs, Indian, nobody. So we are the first one. I told Shalini, why not we work on this topic? We publish, we already done all the search, and recently the CEO passed away. The CEO, the, the wonderful man, so he's a Chinese, is actually man of integrity, man of loving, kind, like father, pass away already. He told Shalini, Shalini, if you do this business, as I will sponsor your PhD, everything paid, he just passed away, very sad. And I told Shalini, we need to write about him, together with the Indian. So this book, we work with the UMK, UMK will come out the course, you know who's going to buy the book? The whole uh, MLM group will buy. Imagine how much money will go to, and that money, we work out to give scholarship to my students who are, who are suffering now. I'm planning on that, that point. So I'm not I'm not going to take their money, whatever. I will keep the fund and I give to my students. They are suffering now. They have no money to pay their tuition fee, everything. So at least I can create. Uh, so we are working on that we can, we, yeah, until I'm not materialized yet. But we are going to do that. This is how you work as collaborative. Book, book can also create income. Right? Book also can create where, where, uh, venue and revenue for the university. So you must understand, don't think that, oh, no, I'm just going to set up a business, food business. No, people don't think outside the box. So I did for last few years, I did that. So, but what I go to do, that? I return back the money to my students. So that's how I did all my uh, my life because uh, I don't take it for myself. I, oh, maybe I help with the poor people, poor students, a lot of students outside, they're very poor, you know, they have no, so I just helping them on that. So this is my movement. Uh, so that's why when you do this, Naza, God will help you. Don't worry. Your promotion in the God's end. He saw your heart. If your heart no good, nothing will come back to you. Today, I have over 200 publications. Okay, it keep on uh, multiplying now. And a lot of, uh, so I'm looking for the, I got, I got a few corporate leaders doing PhD. And you know the, the, the Dr. Anafi, Naza? Uh, you, you know Dr. Anafi working with us now. And Dr. Anafi is a top yes. entrepreneur and very ethical man, 40 years. And I believe his book is going to be super. And I think we're going to be a writer about his book. So that's how you bring the people on the board. Those people, uh, PhD, I think in India also a lot of entrepreneurs, they bring them to do PhD. A lot of leaders, very good leaders in India, you have to bring them to do their own life uh, as a PhD and publish as a book. And I think many young people can follow. So what I'm trying to do is I'm through the publication, uh, the book, I want to set up a good example leaders who are ethically was performed last 40 years and that kind of book will go so that's why your case study i think the three case study that we are going to do actually all ethical company one is isuzu one is uh, you know the prop uh, not the property the service industry the other one is supposed malaysia so we are working on that so we see how and every phd must go on the on the book publication apart from the uh, your articles uh, thank you so much prof for the informative talk. So before I proceed to my last question, there is a question in the Q&A section. I'll be reading it out. Uh, so Mr. Haruna Ibrahim asked, uh, Professor Dr. Bala, please could you train us on how to draft international research proposal for funding? Oh, okay. Okay, what do you do? Uh, you need to identify your own field. Huh? Like me, I, I share. I, uh, I work with a few scholars. Okay, uh, like ILO, right? So I develop myself in the conference. I I force myself go to conference, uh, and then I meet some scholars in the uh, uh, in the conference, maybe in US or whatever. And from there, we we exchange our ideas, and everything, and then they found out you are expert in Malaysia, so they will invite you to be. Uh, that's one way to do that. Another way to be competitive. So you go like Japan Foundation, they got Toyota Foundation, they got uh, European Union, uh, you know. 
uh, ground, everything. You go through the website and you study carefully what the funder want. That's most important. You study carefully what they want. They want actually cross analysis. Example, uh, who's, the, uh, who's the name of friend? Uh, Mr. Haruna Ibrahim. Oh, okay, Haruna. Mr. Haruna. So you need to work uh, cross country research, like, like let's say India, uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, let's say, or Thailand. Uh, that that kind of research you can beat the international grant because Toyota Foundation or Japan Foundation they want to see that kind of thing. So you have to work and and make sure that you have an international scholar who have experience. Your CV very impressive, all right. So I keep on telling the young lecturers use my connection, my my not say connection, my name because my name like uh, you know Nazar like BMW Mercedes Benz. Okay, you read my CV, it's not kind non-stop gun my CV. You know how much my CV actually, yeah. Naza? 100 pages. My CV is 100 pages already. So you imagine 100 pages CV for 20 years. So that means what? It's actually, you, you never enter my uh, online eh? online seminar. You will, you will increase another 20 pages, I think. Online seminar giving every day. So you need to come up with a cross analysis research. And you found out someone from like Japan, found somebody from Japan. So I give example. Eh? I give example. Uh, there's one grant advertised by the Malaysian government. Sometimes the Malaysian government will advertise uh, international grant. Eh? It's about elderly people employment, eh? related to elderly. So this is the given by the by the. So what I did, I contact my friend in Japan uh, and and Prokato, eh? Professor Kato, expert on the elderly people. So I say Prokato, uh, can you part of my team now? And then I also bring from Fumitaka. Fumitaka, Professor Fumitaka was in UMS now working in University of Malaya. His wife from Russia. All right, I know them. They are my family friends because Profumi is a very well-known labor economics. Profumi was on my board. I bring so we write a proposal together with the Prokato. The moment I put Prokato and Profumi, and the, and they see our CV, we got it about forty thousand. We got it. And Nazar, international seminar, uh, international grant, very simple. They are not going to ask you A to Z what they have done, what they don't know. They don't ask all this. International grant, just very simple. They just want trust on you. You produce. Uh, according to objective, what you have done, and you show the credibility that your publication go on the, on the you know on the international uh, um, uh, community, and that's all. They just pay you. That's all. You know, one time Nazar, I supply all the receipt. They say, Prabala, we don't receive. We trust on you. When you send all these receipt, you just trust on you. You just fill out the form. You just give a report to us. That's all. So I got uh, two ILO grant. I was a two I, I, international grant. I got it from uh, Waco University, uh, no, from Japan. It's a competitive grant. And I also got a few European, also competitive. When I was a young lecturer at the age uh, 30 years old, I compete in Malaysia. We call European Union Malaysian Program. So I got it for three months, supposed to go nine months. I got it uh, out of the many, 10 selected. I went to Holland and I did my research. I come back. And now the, the finding become very important uh, policy for the country now. And that's how I'll compete with the uh, so international grant actually they focus on the collaboration cross country analysis. For example, in India, we want to study about uh, elderly people employment. Japan is the best country, so we go and cross cross analysis like Malaysia, uh, India, Indonesia, and we cross and also get few grant from Indonesia with Dr. Ariana. Uh, he apply through the connection, so we compare study. We I think I got two three grant together with him. So we already published a few papers out of the grant. Huh? So that's how we do it. But uh, nowadays I'm a bit slow because I'm I'm working towards policy in the country. I'm quite busy. You know, last week I was in uh, Malacca to discuss about, uh, you know, uh, one of the important issues for the young people. Now talking So I'm quite busy at the national level now. I'm proposing a lot of, uh, you know, solution for the problem in the country. So that's why I, any, but okay, I welcome. If any, anybody go and study and come back and that's how you go to use uh, your website. There are a lot of uh, India. So I think I answer even Africa. Yes, Africa. That's why my our book, you know, they come out next year. It's actually a combination Africa, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand. And uh, not Thailand. Uh, I think uh yeah, Indonesia also part of the four countries are involved in the book. Okay. Uh thank you so much, Prof, for the great explanation. So before we open the okay, uh Miss Vijay, oh, Rani, Vijay Rani. she has oh, a Vijay, yeah. 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 So thank you, Dr. Balakrishnan. Uh, your uh, uh, information about uh, publications and uh, industry relations uh, related are very, very <laughs> impressive. Mm -hmm. And uh, very uh, we receive great inspiration from you. 
and i will i have being arts and social science person um though i am far away from you we received a great inspiration from you about publications and publications ethics and uh, i would like to know uh, i mean are you a visiting professor in many universities uh, uh, can we uh, i mean uh, send a, send you an invitations would you be able to come visiting our university and uh, is there any formalities uh, uh, in the universities that are giving you permission like that oh uh, dr dr is it dr vijay yes is it yes, oh yeah sir. dr vijay no no problem you just uh, write letter and just appoint no problem it's not any formality and then uh, of course i'm willing to help any university in india actually i i love to go back and you know to contribute back where i come from my my uh, my for, for, former uh, parents are coming no 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 because that I, i i like to help so no problem anytime uh, because now i want to focus more on india sri lanka and indonesia i last time i traveled to latin america i used to go to argentina uh, colombia you know uh, peru and all these countries and european countries and also us australia but now i just want to focus to go and help country like india and sri lanka and other countries so no problem we still can work as a as a team so doesn't matter uh, i think as i can give my email you know because there's no chat box there eh? so i can't write yes i will yes sir yes, you will be, be happy to receive the, your uh, mail id sir uh, yes sir i'll be uh, sharing this screen now yes yes i'll share my screen now so everyone can take photo of it ah yeah yes uh, so dr vijay am i you can email me back so no problem Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> very uh, your name, Balak. Where, where, where are you working, uh, Doctor Vijay? Which university, Doctor Vijay? Which university are you working at? I, I belong to Avinash Lingam University for Women, Coimbatore, uh, Tamil Nadu, southern part of okay. India. Okay. All right. All right. And three of oh, okay. my good, good, students good. also participating here. I belong to English department. Oh. Uh, and you you have uh, talked from your heart um <laughs> as uh, helping uh, the society is your motto we are very happy to know about that there are you can contribute uh, i mean the idea of publishing books and contribute to the society that's something great your uh, byrata goes 100 and hard pages and it's something great you have achieved a lot in uh, years if you will really like to uh, hear from you we are we feel very fortunate to have listened to you and for further okay. ideas of publications and uh, world renowned uh, publications we i will contact you and uh, and yes, uh, instruct my students also to contact young researchers to contact you sir oh uh, so you are professor in what field what field i mean um, dr vijirani uh, in english department oh english oh okay okay doctor i think nice to english also can be a very important subject matter i have myself. i have written a lot and kept in the in my notebook oh. and uh, i mean public publications uh, that uh, renowned publications uh, we really need uh, knowledge about publishers right. and sure, uh, sure, how sure. to go about it yes i'm sure i see i think uh, we can do a lot of collaboration work and as if you uh, you uh, spoke as if a language person <laughs> and then <laughs> you talk from your heart you say every your mind is clear everything will be clear and you can help society in any way don't go after money the money will come <laughs> to you that's all this you <laughs> yeah, talk yeah, from true, your true. heart it's very great <laughs> of you sir very fortunate that we have attended this uh, conference uh, thank you for the organizers also Thank okay. you. Thank you, sir. That, that's my uh, email. That's my email there. You can uh, take uh, my email, and uh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can take photo also. Can take picture. So please communicate uh, this email, and then uh, I think uh, we can work. Because uh, Naza is my PhD student, so so she's my very assistant to to help me. Doctor, yes, surely we will meet very soon. <laughs> okay. Ed, uh, Prof. Yeah. Uh, and it is just m y and so that balachna at u m k dot e d u dot yeah yeah u m k u m k is my university university of malaysia kelantan so we are the entrepreneurship university in malaysia we are given license only university in malaysia uh, will uh, the niche is actually entrepreneurship 
So anybody want to study entrepreneurship, they must come to University of Malaysia Kelantan. <laughs> It's your field is very, very necessary to the uh, I mean society that uh, society has to create governments have to create a lot of entrepreneurs to uh, meet uh, the poverty related problems. So, yes. poverty. I can collaborate. Uh, you can collaborate. My VC is very open minded. So anytime uh, we can collaborate on the entrepreneurship or ex student exchange program, student can come to KL, you know. Um, and our student can go to India. You know, we can do a lot of things actually throughout this uh, network. Very important. Okay, sir. Very important. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, Prof. Uh, another participant, question. Mr. Haruna, has raised his hand. Oh, okay, Haruna, please. Yes. Doctor, good, good, good evening, and then good afternoon from Ghana. Oh, Ghana. Oh, yeah. Nice meeting you. <laughs> I got my my friend uh, working in my university, uh, Dr. Solomon. He's from Ghana also. <laughs> oh, okay. From which university? Uh, university of Malaysia Kelantan. Actually, uh, we are very close friends. He just completed his PhD. Uh, he's, he's, uh, he studied in UMK and now he become a lecturer also in UMK. All right. All right. So, um, Prof, um, I'll begin with some recommendations. Um, I must say you are full of knowledge and wisdom it's it's you 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 are you are a top-notch professor no doubt about it because i have worked with a lot of people in, in academia i am yet to be but you are full of knowledge and i have learned a lot from you everything you were saying i was writing it and i can i can reproduce it to you verbatim and one thing that I want you to do for us is a humble appeal from you. Is I asked the question in the question and answers column. Could you train us on how to draft international research proposal for funding? We will be very happy. We want to learn it mm. and write for proposals because I have a lot to showcase to the world. Yes, thank mm. you. I don't, I don't know. What is your field actually? What is your field? I, I am in medicine. Oh, you're I'm, a doctor. I'm a, med I'm a medical practitioner. Oh, medical doctor. I'm a medical practitioner in Ghana. Oh, okay, okay. Are you are you uh, a doctor, PhD holder, or how? No, no, no. I, I'm in profession. All oh, right, all right. You want to be an academician later? Yes, I, 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 I want to be an academician later. Okay. Yes. I, I am yet to do my master's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. I, I will try to, you can communicate with me, and then I will also try to communicate, uh, contact with some of the medical uh, faculty people in my university and also from other universities. We also got veterinary science, and I'm sure that I think we can help each other. No problem. I think most important that now you you have to go through the website, see any, any uh, like many, like Toyota, Japan, Korea Foundation, European Union, there are a lot of uh, grant available. Go through first and select the topic. And then we need to sit down and discuss uh, what are the topic to do the cross analysis country and the country, what the benefit to go. So normally this kind of funding, uh, they will look at uh, your, what do you call, uh, your contribution to the each of the region. Eh? Like I think, I think uh, Africa is growing now. Africa also coming up. I think uh, next maybe next millennium, Africa, India, all these become top in the in the in the world, especially Africa. Again, I can see a lot of opportunity in Africa, and I got a lot of my few friends from Zambia. I I wanted the book with my friend, uh, my 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 student eh, published in, in Zambia recently, uh, and also my former student from UMK now working in the South Africa. So I think a lot can be done. Africa, we can connect Africa, Asia as one big family. So don't worry, Aruna. We work as a Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think uh, participants, if there's any other question from Prof. Bala, you can maybe put in the Q&A section or just unmute and ask the questions. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, if there is no question, I think... You are very for your name, sir. Uh, Balakrishna Parasurama. The significance... Ah, Parasuraman. 
ah parasuraman the significance of name in the uh, hindu epic uh, indian epic uh, great uh, you have to your uh, names uh, that's the observation <laughs> Did, uh, yeah, when I go to Bali, everybody start uh, worshiping me, and they said uh, your father's name is Parasuraman. I said no, 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 don't do that. I said they were very glad. You know, Bali, Bali, uh, a lot of Hindus, huh? Ah, yes, sir. So, oh, yes, sir. Parasuraman, so one of the avatars actually, of uh, Rama. <laughs> one of the avatars of Rama, and uh, I mean, <laughs> it's naturally your name because of your name, he possesses uh, a lot of knowledge, and you are uh, like. Guru of all. <laughs> uh, don't don't all forget. Uh, don't forget uh, S P Bala. You know, S P Bala, <laughs> the best singer. Naza, the best singer just passed away. Wow, everybody. Uh, also, my name, Bala Subramaniam. So the Bala is very popular. In fact, uh, yes, uh, today the, the speaker, <laughs> I think the speaker also uh, Bala, huh? Bala, Bala Krishna and Muniyapan, also top top lecturer also in Malaysia. We have worked together actually. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> very, very thankful to you for providing very, very valuable information. So thank you, thank you, the organizers. Okay. Mm. Thank Naza? you so much, Paul. Uh, mm. I think we can end the session. And thanks again for giving me the opportunity to be the moderator. Mm. I learned a lot as always, and it was such an informative, insightful, and great session. So by here, I can say thank you to the participants who attended uh, Prof. Bala's session and thank you, Prof. Again, so I think you can pass to the MC.